All right, guys, he's over China Mortgage Partners, and today I'm talking about some news that just came out regarding forbearance. So Fannie Mae just came out with some stats, some statistics, um, pretty much stating that forbearance would go as high as 15%. Currently, right now, it's about at 7% based off of what I've seen in the market and the, uh, some of the research that I've done. So technically, it's approximately 7%, but it can go up to 15%. If that happens, that can be a huge market. We're already having issues with servicers and, you know, not being able to fund as fast as we used to. A lot of situations are happening within, you know, in the mortgage space that's actually trickling down and causing a lot of delays. But I mean, it's still a great time to refinance and take advantage of that opportunity. Um, but we're seeing a, a lot of impact forbearance. If people continue to take forbearance, it can act, actually impact them in the long run because we don't know exactly what's going to happen with these uh, with these terms. Obviously, we know that you're not going to get any late penalties. You're not going to get hit with penalties. Um, you're going to get the repayments. Some servicers are already saying that maybe they're going to try to see if they can defer them. Fannie and Freddie Mac already want to pay what's already going on with, with the government loan where they want to do a deferment but then you have the private uh, services that haven't really played into it yet um they're still trying to see what they're going to provide and what options they're going to give but as i've been communicating with these services technically they don't have it all figured out yet right still waiting on a couple of things they thought they were going to get bailed out government that has like actually they told them that they would have to cover at least the first three or four payment and after that they're probably going to come and help them obviously the services aren't happy about that um because who's going to help them who's going to help them um, uh, pay their investment so with that said um what i wanted to talk about is obviously the servicing agreement make sure that you read your servicing agreement because this could actually put you in a bad situation if you're going to try to refinance in the next coming months. If we see a great opportunity for people to refinance if rates were to dip, you know, within that servicing agreement, a lot of it, a lot of the servicing agreements are saying that if you take on a forbearance, that you will not be able to refill in 12 months. That could be a really bad thing for most people that need to refinance within a couple of months, put themselves in a better situation. All right, with that said, um, um, the market actually ended negative uh, position today. Pricing was actually worse.